come from Colombia. Then I went actually to Mexico for my bachelor's. There I studied uh, electronics and computer engineering. And there I got my first sense of how to measure small biological signals. I'm originally from Mexico and I first studied my bachelor in biochemical engineering in Mexico. Then I moved to study in Spain. So I did a first master there in biomedical research. After that, I decided to do a second master uh, in biomedical engineering uh, here in Germany. And then uh, that is the way how I get to Fortune Centrum and uh, the topic that I'm right now also working and developing the biosensors. So it started at the end of my PhD uh, research when I realized that this biosensor had the potential for detecting mal malaria. So from the scientific part, so we continue in the development of the biosensors. And the entrepreneurial part is like to push this technology towards really to bring it as a, to the market and to bring it to the society, to really make just a product out of it, not only to leave it as a, in the, in the thesis or in the papers, but really to push this technology that could be really implemented in the society. The peculiarity of a biosensor is that it uses a biological recognition element to detect another biomolecules, and in this way we identify that there is a present a certain disease or certain parasite, for example, in this case of malaria. And now for the detection, there is where the electronic parts comes. You need a, a, a transducer, yes? Something that can actually convert that biological signal at the end into an electrical signal. You can recognize a small current peak, and then you can transduce this into, let's say, yes or no question, or even more complex, recognizing percentages of an infection, for example. In this case, we can do, let's say, uh, not only this quantitative, and qualitative detection, but recognize also uh, what type of parasite or virus is it that is infecting. Present. Exactly. And the, the, the key part also of our technology is that we don't use uh, commercial or, or conventional antibodies, but we use some other new novel molecules, the recognition molecules, that uh, they are called aptamers. And these are very special because they are more robust than antibodies that are usually commonly used in commercial malaria rapid diagnostic tests. And here it comes again for the detection of different parasites even within the same ship. So we, we, we need to think here, it's not only malaria biosensor. What we have to offer actually is a technology biosensing platform. Gavi then started also using flexible microelectrode arrays for this application and, and, and then discover actually that the chick could use these flexible microelectrode arrays to have different uh, receptors, molecules, and then do a multi-target biosensor. We're talking, of, of course, about technological developments, and then in this sense, Nordrhein Westphalia is the best place. There are a lot of, let's say, university community around. We have uh, Dusseldorf, Cologne, and of course the Aachen, RBTH Aachen University around with the Forschung Centrum, which generates a, a huge, uh, let's say, like collegiality environment for collaborations and, and finding uh, new ways of, of performing things. So this is one of the main things and the infrastructure and the resources that we have found here, let's say, to support us through us, this development. Yeah. And plus I could add uh, like also the bio region that is really nice because they really connect like with uh, like these events uh, such as the business angel events. And so they, there's a really good network that one can find here around uh, with this also bio Bay is really, really, really nice. Uh. So at the moment in the stage we are is in the validation. So we are developing some smaller, as you can see here, maybe behind. So we have a bigger device, but we are developing now a portable prototype. And uh, this is what we still need. We're in the stage of validating this prototype, like really to see with clinical samples the, the, the efficacy, how it work, work as all these device. So this is the stage in which we are right now. And after that will, will come the stage of when we will find the, the company. Mm -hmm.